a, uh, a well-dressed man walks into a coffee shop. He's got a shotgun in one hand, and he's pulling a large male buffalo behind him in the other. And he says, I'd like a cup of coffee, please. And the guy behind the counter kind of shakes his head and says, you know, you look kind of familiar, but I'm busy, so here's your coffee. So the man drinks the coffee in one gulp, takes the shotgun, shoots the buffalo, splatters it all over the place, and leaves. He shows up the next day. Shotgun in one hand, another large male buffalo. Guy behind the counter says, hey, look, we're still cleaning up your mess from yesterday. What, what's, what's going on? He says, I'd like another cup of coffee. He says, oh, no, no, you've got to tell me what's going on. He says, well, the reason why I look familiar to you is because I'm your newly elected congressman. And this is our training program. I show up, drink coffee, shoot the bull, make a big mess for everyone else to clean up, and then I'm out for the rest of the day. <laughs> but wait, there's more. The uh, congressman turns around. He says, you know, the guy won't give him any coffee, so he says, forget it. He leaves his buffalo and his gun, and he walks out. Just as he gets to the door, there's an environmentalist seated by the front door. And the environmentalist says, hey, man, I heard you're a new congressman, man. I got a question for you, man. <laughs> he says, hey, man, uh, the world's running out of natural resources. Um, in the United States, you know, based on your experience in Congress, like, uh, what do you think um, is the first natural resource that will be exhausted in the United States? Without hesitation, he says, the taxpayer. <laughs> so he walks outside. Guy sticks a gun in his ribs. As soon as he gets out the door, guy sticks a gun in his ribs, says, give me all your money. He says, wait a minute, you can't do this. I'm a congressman. The guy says, you're right. Give me my money. <laughs> not, not yet. The, the end of the story is when the congressman makes his way to the airport. He gets on a plane with a pilot, a boy scout, and a devout Christian. So it's this little plane ride, and they're, they're moving along, and the Boy Scout's kind of excited. He recognizes the congressman, and he turns around, and he says, hey, you're that new congressman, aren't you? He says, yeah. He says, well, well the newspaper says, you're, you're the smartest politician in the whole wide world. He says, well, I do have a very high IQ, but I don't like to brag. He said, wow. So a few more minutes into the flight, the engines stall mid-flight. There's four people, three parachutes. The pilot says, hey, look, I have kids at home. I've got to take care of them. Grabs a parachute. He's out of there. We've got three people, two parachutes. The congressman says, look, I was just elected. I've I got to serve the people. Grabs a, one, grabs a parachute, takes off. So there's two people, one parachute. So the devout Christian looks at the Boy Scout and says, my son, save yourself. I have made peace with, with the Lord, and I'm ready to meet my end. And so the Boy Scout says, well, all right, you know, and he goes and he puts his parachute on. He's just about to jump, and he says, you know, there's another one for you back there. The smartest politician in the world just jumped out of the plane with my backpack on. <laughs> okay.